All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna watch Bill Maher tells Mike Tyson what he doesn't like about Islam. Of course, we value the opinion of a smoking liberal Jewish man about Islam dearly here on this channel. With no further ado, guys, let's have a look. So, okay, so you like being married, yeah. uh, and you're a Muslim. Yeah. Is, is the whole family Muslim? Um, okay. Some of my kids, but listen, um, Islam. So you like being married and being Muslim. What does one have to do with the other? Wife and my kids, they have to choose what they want to be. Right. They have to choose. And that. you're okay with that? Absolutely. That is not a point of view that is even allowed in many, many Muslim countries in the world. There is one religion, it is Islam, and well, I believe we're, that, we're not, listen. they're not big on like, hey, uh, you know what? Uh, okay, so point of the story is here. What you are saying is that within an Islamic country, the highest value is that your children will be raised Islamically as well. You are living in a liberal country, and therefore your highest value here is that your children will have the choice to choose whatever they want to be. They can choose to be a girl or a boy or something in between as well, because liberal Liberalism is your God. Let's agree to disagree. Oh, but listen, I'm not Allah. I know, I'm just saying, that's, a, that's something you're allowed to do here as an American Muslim. No, I learned from experience, um, I'm not going to stop their growth from something that my growth is extending with. Right. Because I'm grown with it, but that's not their growth. I'm just pointing out that this enlightened point of view is not found uniformly around the world. You know, you said America. This, this enlightening point of view, yeah, post enlightenment after the French Revolution. This is what he's really talking about here, knowingly or unknowingly. This point of view tells you you don't have to raise your children, but the state can. What are you saying here? The father shouldn't impose ideals onto his children. Everybody does, and so do you. You are brainwashing your children, if you have children at all, I don't know, into liberalism, where you tell them. It is all about individualism. It is all about their personal freedom. This is the highest value within your society. This is what it means to be an American, apparently. But just because this is the Western American way doesn't make it right. And moreover, yet again, you have a double standard here because it is both indoctrination. If you send your children to the school and they tell them it's all right to chop off your peepee -pee if you feel like a girl today, that is indoctrination as well. They are both educational methods. One teaches them there is only one God. The other one tells him there is no God is up to you, bro. The greatest. That's listen, one reason why the listen, one thing that's still great about America is that you can have that. You'd point be surprised view. how many Muslims want to come in and think that we the way we think. Oh, we I'm, can, I'm we sure they do. That. Oh, I'm not surprised. You'd be surprised. I'm not. And it, I mean, it is a shame. Now Mike Tyson's appealing to his framework. Bill has the upper hand here, and Mike tries to please his ideas. And and all those guys in Iran and stuff. You'd be surprised. Sure, of these course. are beautiful people. And women who don't want to yes. wear the fucking, you know, whatever the <laughs> no, thing that looks like a yeah. cover of a motorboat. Well, there are some people, some people are more modern than that. This video is actually amazing because it displays what it means to be a true American. You drop an F-bomb and disrespect a whole religion. This man has no self-reflection whatsoever. He doesn't understand that he's been brainwashed in the West, in America. You can do what you want. You can wear what you want. You want to go out with a big cleavage, with hot pants, show your butt cheeks. More power to you. You go queen. But if you want to wear a hijab, Bill will tell you this is something that you put on a motorboat. Yes. Yes. Nice. Right. Sweet. I wish I had the. I wish I had the. Um, I wish I had the dignity to be that modest. Modest. Is something nice. Yeah. Why do you to say that's myself. modest? Because they they believe in covering themselves. And, oh. And I'm like you said. I gotta be. Don't how much money I got. I gotta be in this cheap ass plane with all well, these people and talking to these people. This one thing. To, modest is one thing. Completely covering a woman so you don't see any of her. Well, that's listen, not modest. That's well, listen, pathological. Well, suppose she's happy with that. She How do you set the standard for what is modesty? In your worldview, people can run around almost naked. This is already modest for you. It's not, oh my God, she's not happy you don't with have a it. God. I mean, you can brainwash someone into liking anything. It's like, oh. oh what's that calling? And my kids always say that me with the uh, Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome. My kids, always kids say, say that. My kids and my mother, get, my wife got Stockholm so Syndrome. I love so you, so, so you, your kids, how old are your kids? Oh, I have, they go from 33 to 33. 11. Okay. 
So if this is truly the case, one has to wonder, of course, why so many women from the West reverting to Islam and then freely choose to fully cover Bill. I'm sure Tell you have times right. and you're with all of them. All yes, support. and I'm, I'm wondering what the discussion is like. Is it a lot of real shit? I'm sure it is. Like you it's like this love. kind of no, stuff. Listen, I know, but 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 you talk about. I mean, there's nothing that's off limits, right? No. You talk about sex with your kids. Everything. You talk about religion. Everything. Right. Everything. Your past. Everything. Yeah. Everything. What do they say, Daddy? I saw YouTube. You were with this super fly. No, no they go like this. <laughs> what? And this is my kid. And I have a 13. What was wrong with you, Dad? Mm. All right, that's it for today's video. Unfortunately, Mike Tyson did not defend Islam properly, aside from saying that it is modest to wear a hijab. The liberal worldview, which is the dominant worldview here, trumps this discussion. Bill set the frame of what is right and wrong. He set the moral high ground. He set the moral standard here of how society should be. Don't you understand that this is truly what America does all over the world? They are the world police. They tell you what is right and wrong. By which standard? We the people, human rights. This is not a godly standard. This is man-made. Those are man-made rules based upon a certain culture, based upon a certain people that declared what they like and what they don't like. This is it. There is no deep intrinsic meaning in those values other than that it works for them. It works for their society, or at least it used to work back in the good old days. However, as Muslims, we have to understand one thing clearly here. Those people talk out of ignorance. They're absolutely brainwashed and moreover they're not setting the standard. Their law is based upon men. Our law is based on God. We believe that the Sharia, we believe that the Quran is divine revelation from God. It is an ever-changing rule set that we as Muslims received and we as Muslims follow. Islam is never changing and this is why it is a thorn in the eye of the liberal of course. This Bill guy here would have had a totally different tone 20, 30, 40 years ago. They are flip-flopping like a leaf in the wind they're always changing their opinions nowadays some conservatives are against sex change operations in children mark my words in 30 40 50 years they will be pro sex change operations of course because that is the freedom of the child let them choose it is a progress quote unquote that never stops it is a degeneration into infinity you have to understand that the west will not stop until it destroyed itself completely. But Allah's pattern is never changing. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel by Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.